Hi everyone, my name is Nurmia Kirana Binti Muhammad Marzuki. I'm 11 years old from SK Kuda. Today, I'm going to make a book review on one of my favorite storybooks. The genre of this book is fictions. I love reading this kind of storybook since I was a little. My mother will read storybooks before I went to bed. The book's title is My Fairy Tales Time Little Red Riding Hood written by Mai Skelly and illustrated by Monica Filipina. There are five characters, Little Red Riding Hood, Mother, Grandma, Woodcutter and Wolf. The story is about a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She lives in a cottage with her mother. One day, her mother asked her to send a basket of cakes and fruits to her grandma's house. Her grandma was not feeling well and she needs to go and visit her. So, she set off the basket, wear her red cape and ready to go. Before she leave the house, her mother reminded her not to talk to strangers, especially the wolf. To get to the grandma's house, she needs to walk through the wood. Suddenly, a wolf jumped out. The wolf asked where she heading to. She told the wolf that she wanted to send the basket to her grandma's house. The wolf suggests her to pick some flowers to her grandma and it ran off leaving Little Red Riding Hood alone. While she happily picking the flowers, she didn't notice that the wolf raced ahead to grandma's house. The wolf already in front of grandma's house. He called grandma to let in, but grandma wasn't silly. She knew that's not Little Red Riding Hood so, voice, so she hid in the wardrobe. The wolf got in and noticed grandma was nowhere to be seen. So he dressed up, dressed like grandma and got into the bed. Soon, Little Red Riding Hood arrived. She knocked the door and got in. She noticed that grandma looked odd and asked him why her ear was too big. The wolf answered, better to hear you. She asked again about the big eyes and the wolf said, the better to see you. She got confused about the big teeth out of the blue. Wolf pounces and said, better to eat you. Little Red Riding Hood was shocked. She screamed loud loudly and ran away. Suddenly, someone begging at the door. Little Red Riding Hood opened the door. A woodcutter stand at the door. He heard her scream. The wolf ran away into the forest when the woodcutter raised his axe. The Little Red Riding Hood and the woodcutter heard strange knocking coming from the bedroom. They opened the wardrobe and saw Grandma inside it. They were very happy to see Grandma was safe. Since that incident, Little Red Riding Hood never talked to strangers and the wolf also disappeared as he affair to those who wear red capes. Remember friends, don't you ever talk to strangers and believe them. Always remember what your parents remind you. I recommend you to read the story books as the story is very enjoyable. The illustration also very attractive and creative. I hope I will review other fairy tale stories that I read before I went to bed. See you later. Bye.